Week eight is here. Calzone, Apollo Fury, Rustic Bridge, the back nine, one of our favorite golf courses. Hi, everybody. I'm Chad Shrump. World Championship qualifying head-to-head match play continues this week with two of the very best. Ireland's Apollo Fury takes on Maryland's Matthew Calderon and Calzone is off the tee early with a beautiful shot. Here is Apollo Fury. Niall Campbell shot on the way, just barely short. Putt is good. That is a birdie to start our round here on the back nine. Move on to hole number 11. This is a par four, sometimes drivable or get down for an easy chip. This is an absolutely gorgeous cut around the trees, and that is a chip for Calzone. That is a distinct advantage chance for a stroke, and Apollo Fury buries this into the trees. What kind of lie does he have? That's actually not bad. Ninewood, Slurve, does this come back? It does not, and he will have that chip probably from that rough. That is to save birdie. Here is an eagle chip from Calzone on the way. Count it. Matthew Calderon. That is an early, at least, one-stroke lead from the former world championship qualifier, Matt Calderon. Here's Apollo Fury. Huge chip on the way. Slides left. He will lose two strokes, all due to the errant tee shot on 11. Not sure what he was trying to accomplish with that. That buried straight into the trees. Would love to know his opinion on what he was looking at there. Here is Calzone. Lands the small island. If you miss this island, the drop is absolutely, massively penal. Here is Calzone. Sniper up and away on the par 5. This will be safe. And that is an easy eagle on deck. For Calzone, two-stroke lead early on Apollo Fury. Niall not wanting to take anything to chance there. Let's that run a little deep. Will not be wet. And he moves on. Both players, Eagle, hole 12. As we talked about, two-stroke lead early for Calzone. Here is a par four. This plays uphill. Calzone will get to the edge of this fairway and will leave a long second shot in. That pin is not in the best location either. Not going to be a jab here. Will be some type of a sniper or an orbits. Here is Nile. He will use a four wood sniper. That shot is on the way and judged beautifully. No great shot points. That must be six or seven feet. Very nicely done from Niall Campbell. Here is Calzone, runs it just past. That is good for birdie. 12 footer on the way, yes. And Niall, six feet, no love. Why is that important? If Niall is to close this gap and tie this match, at the end of the 18th hole, we would look at the scorecards. The player with the most great shot points would win the tiebreaker and move on to the week eight championship match for a chance to go to Las Vegas, Nevada for the world championship. Here is Niall. He will hit left side. He will attack this fairway, torpedo, and let this run out almost 370, 380 yards. Yes, 385 yards. We'll have a good look in. That is a perfect win. Here is Niall, sniper, on the way and just deep. The line was gorgeous. Calzone will hit from the road. Javelin, Sevenwood. This is lining up beautifully. Takes a weird left hop. Did I imagine that, or was that a left hop on a flat green? Would have to look at that one one more time. Six-foot putt for Calzone, another six feet, no love. And we move on to hole 15, par five. This is the old sidewalk hole, the cart path hole. I'm going to land this right here and leave yourself most likely an O-bird under the canopy, below the tree deck, and have a shot into this par five. 
Nile did not leave himself anything nice here. Here is his Obird sniper well short. The drive again is the killer. Here is Calzone, just plays for the green, backs it up with an orbit, beautifully intelligent shot. Chipper on the way for Nile Ranger, and it misses to the left. And Nile is about to go down three strokes with just three holes to play. And that is not where you want to be against the great Matthew Calderon. Three to play, par four, 16th hole. Good wind here, drive over the road, gives yourself a chip, a some kind of a short stinger approach, maybe a three iron here, let it run down this hill, or even a javelin. That's a good win. You want to get across this road and get in there for a chance for a stinger. This is must make now for Niall Campbell. Matt is not going to make any worse than a three here. Here is the three iron stinger. Line looks good, and it's just past the cup. A little less, and that might be in. Calderon, four iron. Javelin just sneaks that onto the green, just past. Yes, beautiful. 3,000 great shot points. Look at that one one more time. Beautiful. Just past the rough. And we'll make that putt momentarily. But first, here is Niall Campbell. If Niall's got any chance to win this match now, Calzone needs to make a big number here on 17, which is actually possible depending on the pin placement and the wind. Let's look at it. Nope, not going to be possible, not with this one. Obert on the way. No, just misses a beautiful shot from Matt Calderon, 8,700 GSP. That pin dead center of the green into a straight wind. These players are not going to mess this shot up. Matter of fact, Niall might make this. Let's see if he does and give us something maybe interesting on 18. Obert on the way, that is too far, and that is a birdie for Apollo Fury. Ireland's Niall Campbell has Travel to the States to play in Golden Tee tournaments. No stranger to the competition. Just not his day. Here is Calzone. Tee shot over the water. Hits the cart path. Does this bounce back? Yes, here it comes. Here it comes. And this will settle behind the cart path. Wow. Here is Niall. This is a sniper. That is all over the jar. Beautiful shot from Niall Campbell. Might pick up one here. Let's see what Calzone has after this replay. Beautifully done by Niall Campbell. Calzone, wonder if that cart path, the edge of it is in his way. Does he have to pop this up? He's going to try the chipper and wow! Matt Calderon makes the chip. It goes right through the edge of that cart path with the Ranger, and he seals the deal. A three-stroke win here in the semifinals. Matt Calderon defeats Niall Campbell and move, moves on to the Week 8 Golden Tee Mobile World Championship Final.